Hey, look. I want to talk about this. This is a little bracket that I made for my Fanatec V3 pedals. Uh, so I could allow my kid to, to play also uh, racing games, or at least uh, try some of the cars. He really wanted to try it. He's five years old, so he can't really reach the pedals uh, and the wheel, even when I move the seat all the way forward. Uh, I didn't want to duct tape anything to the pedals or make any permanent changes, but obviously uh, I need to use them too. So this is what I came up with. Um, this is a 3D printed bracket that snaps on the top of the pedals and uh, locks in place with a 6mm bolt. Uh, obviously, if you don't have a 6mm bolt, you can just uh, uh, print out a 6mm pin instead. Uh, should do the trick, um, but I had, had the bolt, so I use that. It, uh, it'll only work with a pedal set that's mounted with the uh, plastic front plates. It will not work with the metal front plates. Uh, reason for that is I use the plastic ones, so this is for my use that I made it. Uh, if enough requests come in through the comments, I may make one for the metal plate. Uh, but I think making one for the metal plate is going to be much simpler, uh, and uh, probably anyone that has a 3D printer could do that anyway. So, uh, not that this is anything special, but uh, it might save you some uh, time in uh, uh, printing this. A, a link to it in the description, so you can print, you can download the file for this and print it if you like it. Um, uh, as you can cl well, clearly see, it doesn't really extend anything on top here. This is really just to fix to the pedal without being permanent, and something that's easy to remove, which I can then permanently fix or duct tape something with without uh, creating a mess on my pad environment. Just extend this out with something else uh, and that works. Should work with most uh, plastic plate pedals, uh, most orientations. You may have to modify it for your use if you if you have them mounted at a, at a strange angle. Uh, but it does allow for for damp dampener being attached. It also allows for the, uh, the shade kit to be upside down if you've got your set in that way um, and yeah it's um fits all three of my pedals even though they're not really uh, they're not mounted all the same um, now as a good uh, as a good uh, tv chef i actually baked one before the show this guy here so this is the same bracket different color obviously um, and I've just duct taped foam in front of it, the hard foam, which uh, works as the pedal for, for my kids. And no no mess on the pedals, actual pedals, because it's just locked in place and they can play with it and take it off for, for me to play with it. This foam actually came from the uh, the wheelbase packaging, uh, so uh, the uh, close for 2.5 packaging. Might have been more fitting to use packaging from the uh, pedals, I don't know if that would have worked, but Bottom line is, uh, anything that's lightweight, relatively stiff, uh, you, you can cut the size and just duct tape to it and do work for you. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, one more thing to add, if you're going to print this. This is PLA, so if you're using a different material, especially uh, APS, you need to uh, account for shrinkage. Because this is a tight fit, snaps on there uh, pretty tightly. So if you're using APS, if you don't account for shrinkage, it's, it's going to be too small. So I would start off with at least 1% bigger if you're doing APS. Uh, yeah. uh, I think that's pretty much all there is to say about this. Uh, I will say though, in closing, that if you're going to let your kids play with your, with your Zimric, uh, you need to make sure that you set the uh, force feedback appropriately. Some of these wheel wheelbases have a really high torque uh, and that can be not just hard for the kids to, to uh, control but they could also hurt themselves on it. So uh, just turn down the force feedback so your kids can enjoy it rather than getting slammed by the wheel when they crash. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Uh, if you're going to pick one out, should probably like it twice <laughs> or, or maybe subscribe if you want to see more uh, thanks for watching 
and uh, have a great day.